Welcome to the tutorial on how to reconnect your flick button with your phone. If you have a tendency to turn Bluetooth on and off, it will disrupt the connection of the flick button with your phone. So here we will demonstrate that uh, the Bluetooth was turned off and then back on again. As you can see, uh, the Flick app does not see the button. So we're going to hit cancel to uh, exit this screen. We're going to hit the hardware home button on your phone. Next we're going to tap on the Flick app. As you can see the app uh, does not see the button. It is out of range. Uh, you want to make sure that Bluetooth is on uh, before you go on to this next step. So the next step is on the upper right hand side you, you'll see three vertical dots. You want to tap on that. Tap on settings. You want to look for the text that says pause all flicks. Uh, you basically want to make sure that that is set to the off position uh, so that the app can recognize all buttons. So we do not want to pause all flicks so we want to make sure, sure that pause all flicks is off. Uh, in this case it is. Now we're going to go to the upper left hand side and tap on the back link. Next you want to tap on the image of the button that's on the screen of the phone. So here above the text find you'll see the image of the button. We're going to tap on that image. Next you're going to tap on the upper right hand side where the gears icon is. And uh, we're going to tap on connect. Next you're going to tap on the upper left hand side where the back link is. Now you're going to give your flick button uh, one short click. So we're going to do that now. And as you can see it connected. Now in the case that it does not connect, uh, there may be some issue with your phone and the flick button. So you may have to unpair the flick button. So if you give it one short click and you do not see this screen updated and it still says out of range, uh, you want to hit the hardware home button then you want to go to the Apple settings then you want to go to the screen where it says Bluetooth uh, your button should have a serial number similar to F022 CTRZ so you would tap on the I and then you would tap on forget this device which means your phone would then unpair with the current flick button. Uh, you only need to do this if your phone's having issues uh, with the flick button. So once you've successfully unpaired the button, you can load up the flick app and then on the lower right hand corner there is a plus sign uh, and you can tap on that plus sign to uh, begin pairing the phone with the flick button again. Now in this case we've successfully connected the uh, the button, the flick button to the phone. So we need to return to the 911 Help SMS app. And you want to go to settings. We'll go back to main screen. We'll tap on settings. You want to tap on link flick button at the bottom there. Then you're going to tap on the upper right next. And now you'll see that the uh, the app does recognize the button. So you're going to tap on the image where it says find connected and then you're going to tap on done and now you have successfully connected the 911 help SMS app uh, to the flick button so just keep in mind if you do turn Bluetooth off and back on again uh, it will break the connection with the flick button so you may have to go through this process where you have to confirm that uh, the phone is connected to a button so you have to return to the flick app and you want to make sure that it is connected to the button. You can give it one click to confirm. And here it is confirmed. Then you'll have to return to the 911 Help SMS app and uh, make sure that the button is connected. We're going to tap on Next. And then reconnect it. Just to make sure. And then if you go to the main screen, you can give your button a three second long press and the app should recognize a signal from the button.
And this concludes the tutorial. Thank you.